Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Zavaya and I'm here with a bit of a reading on what secrets is your person hiding from you, alright? So I also want to add that I'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. If you wish to book a reading or a cleansing with me, message my email which is up in the description box down below. Also, the timestamps for this reading are linked in the description box or in the comment section, so definitely check that out to get fast forward to your reading. Alright, so I picked out three powers for you today. For the first power, we have the blue stone. For the second power, we have the black tourmaline. And for the third power, we have the rose quartz crystal. Alright, so choose whichever pile or crystal you feel drawn to the most. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath and feel whichever card or crystal calls out to you the most. And basically, that's your pile. Hey guys, it's a piece of chose. Pile 1, the blue stone. This is reading, okay? So let's see what secrets is your person hiding from you. Let's find out. We're going to check this card out at the end of this reading. First, we're going to look at some tarot cards. Okay, so let's see. Okay, and on the deck we have the world. Okay, so they're hiding something big is what I'm seeing. Just a second. We have the two of cups, we have the king of wands in reverse, we have the three of cups, we have the moon. So what I'm seeing is that your person is hiding their feelings, first of all. They're hiding their feelings. They're hiding the fact that they wish that you guys could be more than just friends or more than what you guys are right now. Whatever situation you guys are in, your person wants to be more than that. Your person wants to have more with you. That's what they're hiding. They're hiding their feelings, definitely. And they're hiding the fact that they see you as a potential love interest. They see you as the one. They're really serious about this connection. And they're out there to get you. But they are, you know, not that confident to pursue you. They have some insecurities deep down, which is why they're unable to move forward. But they're trying to um, be in this successful energy life. They're trying to manifest this attitude where they are not, you know, nervous or intimidated by the situation or by you. Basically, they are a little intimidated by you because they see you as someone who's like better than them. They see you as someone who's like out of their league. So they're definitely hiding this fact. And they're also hiding the fact that they're scared with life in general, with whatever is happening, with whatever situation they're facing it's like you know they feel like they are giving a test like the universe has presented a test and they have to prove themselves prove themselves to this connection or prove themselves to something else in general and they're really um all like they're all over the place right now and they're hiding this fact okay i don't see any like you know the big deal that they're hiding is definitely their feelings. That's the main thing over here that I'm getting for you guys. But your person is under a lot of pressure right now. They're under a lot of pressure. They don't feel confident. They don't feel enough. They have this insecurity of losing. Okay, they're, they're afraid to lose. They're afraid to lose you or lose something else in general. Whatever, you know, the challenge may be, they're afraid of that. Okay, because maybe in the past they've gone through like these experiences where people look down on them like, you know, just, you know, just people just walked all over them, walked all over their confidence and they were not able to build themselves up, which is why that attitude is still sticking with them. They have to fight their fears to move forward in this connection, okay? Like, definitely, um, they are in love with you. They're hiding the fact that they're in love with you, okay? And they're actually, like, hiding the fact that they do feel this pull towards you, this divine um, connection. I mean, they do feel like this is a divinely guided connection. And they don't want to spoil, you know, your friendship or whatever you guys have right now. They don't want to spoil the moment. They want to enjoy it, but at 
but at the same time they also want to have this commitment with you whatever commitment they're chasing okay so you know the king of wands really um shows that your person has some control issues okay they're hiding you know the self of theirs so this might be a red flag for some of you guys okay they do, do they do have self like sorry they do have control issues so just be aware of that they might be a little aggressive and controlling at times okay because they have gone through like i just said they have gone through many like toxic experiences that made them this way so but deep down they are you know this knight of wands because they're intimidated because they are you know really nervous that's why they're acting this way they might act like you know comp and like the opposite of what i'm telling you right now maybe they're acting like they're not interested and they're not like invested in your energy but to be honest they are that's what i'm getting okay it's just like a defense mechanism basically so this person is trying to cover up their fear by acting you know really controlling victorial or dominating or something okay so this is just you know because they were not like you know they didn't get that success that they were chasing so they're really like they're hungry for success is what i'm getting and they're also hungry for success in this situation in your connection okay so like i just said they're going back and forth with their energies but they're they definitely have one goal in mind which is success with you so it doesn't matter who is in the way it doesn't matter what situation they're facing they're still going to do it whether it's themselves that's in the way which is just that your person's insecurities and their fears are in the way because they do see you as an angel they see you as like you know the perfect partner that they could ever wish for so that's why you know like they don't want to look like a coward they, like they don't want to look like you know someone who is just madly in love they don't want to look that way which is why they're hiding their feelings maybe they didn't even talk about this to their friends or maybe they did but to their closest friends okay but no one knows about it yet so a person is keeping it a secret a complete secret okay their feelings because they hate being vulnerable they hate being in this position that you're putting them in and they know that if they need to pursue they need to be in such a position so like i just said they're battling with their ego they're battling with their fears with their insecurities so they're having a tough time they're all over the place because of this and they just don't know what to do now they're completely confused they have this confused energy okay and they don't know why you make them feel this way it's just that if they don't have you in their lives they won't be complete okay that's <laughs> that's what they are hiding and also this person might take you for granted as what i'm getting okay maybe in the near future this person might take you for granted so that's a red flag if you could you know this is i'm just warning you okay this might be a possibility for some of you guys but definitely this person feels complete with you like i just said with the world maybe this is a long distance connection or it, in, it involves travel so your person wants to travel towards you they're hiding the fact that they might be traveling towards you or it's just that they might have plans for traveling with you if you guys are not in a long distance connection that could be the case but definitely they want to go out somewhere where they and they're hiding that fact okay and this person is really manipulative as well okay and they have high expectations for this connection they're actually hiding their true attitude is what i'm getting they might look as you know look at sorry they might look as like the knight of wands but what they really are like regardless of their gender the knight of wands in reverse so just be careful okay because they're really determining i can get this determined energy like in a negative way like if this wasn't like the upright position it would have been completely different but it is in the reverse over here so your person definitely i mean everyone has those traits okay someone many people could be like that they have some they have both sides right so a person also has that side but that side is a little too dominating okay right now for a person and they they are and they don't have any intention to change that 
which is why you know they're hiding this they're hiding their true intentions they're hiding their true like personality they don't want to be seen they don't want to get into the public eye is what i'm seeing with their personality they, they don't want to look like a fool okay if they want to get in the eye of the society in regards to you they want to look like you like came up to them and proposed to them or something i mean like i just said they do have this love and admiration for you but they have this ego in the way this ego is in the way they have some ego issues okay that they're hiding and seriously maybe you guys are doing too much for this person as well as what i'm seeing okay you guys are presenting yourselves like you're just being yourselves but you know this person has high expectations okay seriously yeah that's what i'm getting overall also with the knight of wands this person is driven by ambition right now okay to get to get to you to communicate with you they they have this intention of taking a swift action okay, which is really unexpected which will which would make you sorry about that which will make you um take a move towards them okay so i can definitely sense that energy so take it how it goes all right we have triumphant okay so yeah success this all this card talks about success so a person is definitely thinking about success about getting that trophy you are a trophy in your person's eyes okay that's why they admire you because you're a trophy not it's not just that i mean they do have feelings for you it's not like they're only like after you because you have this title or this like this reputation or you just have you know you're really successful or something like they definitely are attracted to your traits but they're also attracted to your soul is what i'm seeing which is why a person like you are here to awaken you know the emotional side of your person like they've been in this um negative they had, they, they've had this negative perspectives for too long and now you're he, so now you're here to change that mind me okay so yeah that's what i'm getting and they are definitely hiding the fact that they want to be successful in this connection they might act like they don't care they might act like they don't give a shit but they do okay so yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you're free to share the pause in the sweeting or check more videos on my channel so love you guys i'll see you guys soon like share subscribe for more videos bye bye hey guys if you who chose pile to the black tourmaline this is your reading okay so let's see what secrets is a person hiding from you? We're going to look at this card at the end of this reading. Now, right now, we're going to look at some tarot cards to clarify some energies. Okay, to see what are they hiding from you? What secrets are they hiding? Let's see. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. So, I can see some dishonesty over here. Okay. Just a second. We have the Hermit. We have a Seven of Wands. The Five of Wands. The Tower. Strength. The Eight of Wands. So, definitely this person has a lot of passion for you, but they're hiding all of their passion. <laughs> okay. And just a second, I'm going to get back to you. All right, so let's start with the tower. This person is hiding the fact that they are surrendering to this connection. Like this person doesn't like to surrender, okay? This person has some ego, okay? Like they have this ego that they like to, you know, show off and they... <laughs> They're finally surrendering, okay? I can see that there was like this tower moment between you guys. Or if there isn't, there might be. And this person knows that, okay? If something gets out, if they get exposed, okay? You, like, the, like they, they'll just lose you. And they're afraid to lose you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And this person is standing on guard, okay? Like, they're just standing their ground. And they don't give a shit about what, you know, other people say. I'm gonna get back to that, but... I see that there was an ending of this connection okay definitely an ending 
or there might be an ending okay that's what i'm getting and your person knows that and they're hiding the fact that they wish to end this connection or you know there might be a possibility that this connection could get and like could end so um definitely a lot of drama is going on like definitely a lot of drama is involved in your situation and your person is the reason for that drama okay because they might be having someone else by their side a third party situation okay a third party situation doesn't have to be a specific person it could also be like friends or family members who are trying to you know break the you know harmony of this connection or it could also be um their own fears their own insecurities but that's highly unlikely like the insecurities part what i'm, what I'm seeing is a specific person for like the majority of you guys but it could also be friends or family members, okay? They're like, and everyone has like a different situation out here. So I'm trying to stay as neutral as possible. And your person, okay? They're trying to, like, they're finishing something up, okay? Like maybe they have another relationship on the side and they're finishing that relationship up. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Or it's just that they're trying to break up with you. Maybe that could be the case for those of you guys who, um, who are in a relationship with a person if you're not in a relationship this person is trying to move on from this connection because there are two risks involved and they don't want you to know about this they know that if, you know they if you if you knew about this you'll just break they'll break you okay like your heart will be just you know shattered into um many pieces and they just don't want that they don't want to hurt you that's the last thing that they want okay and Maybe you guys already know about this, already know about the other person involved or about the other party involved. No matter what it may be, okay, you just know about it and you're acting oblivious purposely for some of you guys, okay? I mean, you guys are really strong, definitely. And your person is really like going through a lot right now is also what I'm getting and they're hiding that fact, okay? They're trying to stay strong, they're trying, they're trying to tame their insecurities their um stress their depression their frustration they're trying to be you know they don't they don't want to stand the light is what i'm getting and this person just wants you to be stronger they know that when you're stronger that's when they're gonna tell you about this or that's when you know they're gonna completely walk away from you is what i'm seeing this person wishes to tell you everything on you know in person because they they hate lying to you maybe they lied to you for some of you guys they did lie to you about something and they regret it okay that's why you know and they regret lying to you. they regret hiding this matter from you because you mattered the most to your person and time time you know just changed everything everything like the speciality of this connection is just gone in your person's mind and they are also really astonished to see this change okay like that they don't feel anything but they do care about you they do care about you but they don't feel anything romantically they do feel for you passionately but they don't feel you in that you know emotional way they see you as a great friend they see you as like you know every like everything that they could wish for in a best friend okay that's how they see you and they don't want you to know this because they know that this will break you their words will break you break your heart and they don't want that they don't, don't want to like disturb you disturb your soul searching journey or whatever you guys are doing right now they don't want to cause any sort of like fuss okay they, they just want to want you to live your lives calmly okay hurting you is the last thing that they want with the five of wands definitely i i can see that there were some arguments like you guys had a fight or you know definitely there might be a chance that you guys might have a fight okay so they are you know hiding that fact okay that you know because of their actions there might be a fight that could take place soon enough so with the hermit over here i see that this person just wants to like this person is isolating themselves right now they just want peace okay they want peace they're too they're circulated with drama they want peace okay they want to have this you know alone time right now 
you just want to be alone okay and your thoughts keep popping up in your person's head okay they say that they don't think about you in that way but they do inside they do but they're not recognizing this they don't recognize how they actually feel for you because they're clouded by other you know people's opinions or it's just that um it's like it's gonna take some time for them to realize that but definitely um they're definitely hiding the fact that they've gone through this huge problem all by themselves so it was like a really great lesson for them and everything was just maybe they tell you every about everything that happens in their life maybe you guys are best friends or it's just that you know for some of you guys or it's just that you guys are friends okay or you guys broke up i mean it could be anything like i just said i'm getting several situations and because many of you guys have chose pile two or something okay i'm definitely getting that away this person is hiding the fact that they want to talk to you that they want something unexpected to happen that would you know gain your you know respect back like they want you to trust them again low-key and they're hiding this fact okay they're, they're missing you low-key because you were a great friend to them and you were also like you know you showered them with praises you showered them with your appreciation with your love and you fulfill them in all ways. I mean, you are a great partner in their eyes. And and they just they just don't want to hurt you anymore. Okay. They're, they ran away from this connection. They hid the fact that they ran away by lying to you. But the one... They weren't running away from you. They were actually running away from themselves. Okay. So just a second. Let me just clarify this. Wait a second. This eight of wands. We have the six of pentacles we have the nine of swords we have the two of swords okay yeah they're trying to block their energies like you are marriage material in their eyes okay with the queen of pentacles regardless of agenda they see you as like the perfect partner but they don't want to give you false hope okay that's why they might not be talking to you i can see that this might be a no contact situation or it's just that they ghosted you for some of you guys or they lied to you. No matter what it is, your person is having sleepless nights thinking about this. Okay, maybe they're suffering their karma right now. And they just hate the fact that they can't have you by their side. And they have to hide all of this frustration deep inside themselves. Okay, they can't tell to anyone because they know that at the end they were the ones who were wrong. Okay, this, this was definitely an unequal give and take relationship and your person or connection whatever so your person definitely like regrets that they are in this debt okay like they know that they're in your debt and they can never fulfill it now because they can't even lock eyes with you they feel too ashamed okay is what i'm seeing so yeah they low-key wanna just do right by you but they can't they're hiding that fact okay so yeah, well, I guess this is all that I have for you guys today. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate, you're free to check out the pods in the swing or check out movies on my channel. So, wait a second. We have pause. Okay, pause. So, definitely this is a pause in your connection. And it makes it makes sense that your person wants to take a pause from everything that's going on. And I, and I think that you guys also also need that right now. You guys need to... Like, reflect on yourselves, focus on yourselves right now. That's what the universe wants you to do. And I think that's the best option for you right now. So definitely keep doing whatever you're doing to help yourselves out, to maintain your emotional health. And just um, don't stop believing, all right? So if this didn't resonate, you're free to check out the past in this reading or check out movies on my channel. So love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Like, share, subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye. Hey guys, if you chose pile 3, the rose quartz crystal, so let's see what secrets is your person hiding from you. Let's find out. Oh, never mind. So, we're gonna check out this card. At the end of this reading right now, we're gonna look at some tarot cards. So, let's see. What secrets are they hiding from you? Okay, we have the magician at the bottom of the deck, okay? So, what are they hiding from you, pile three? 
Let me just sort this out first. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups, okay? So, what are they hiding from you? Hmm. They are hiding... No, their hardships is what I'm seeing. I mean, they're hide hiding their hard work, their contribution towards this connection. I mean, maybe in the 5D, they are definitely manifesting a beautiful outcome for you guys. But they need to, like, invest their energies in the 3D as well. It's not just, you know, investing in the 5D. It's all also about, you know, they also have to contribute in the 3D. That's when your relationship is going to stabilize. You need to put in that hard work, right? So a person is intending to do that and they're still like not open about this. They want to make this work. They have had some, you know, um, like realizations through which they have, you know, reflected on their situation, reflected on their mistakes and they need, they know that they need to move forward okay move forward because they don't want to lose you definitely they find you really attractive you're really um you're just everything that they wish for okay is what i'm seeing and they they fantasize a lot about you they definitely hide this okay they don't like tell you any of their you know thoughts or you know how much they think about you how much they obsess over you they don't tell you anything about it and maybe you know they also have some options on the side but you know, your person is not considering them at all, okay, at all. They're only considering you. So if you guys have some doubts, okay, over here that your person has some other people on their side or there are, you know, some people trying to win your person, don't be worried because your person is completely on your side with the Queen of Wands regardless of your gender, okay? And they can see the potential of this connection. They can see the potential. They can see how you guys could build... A foundation together and how you could do something together that could conquer the world that could change the world or you know their their world basically you you change their world you made a really huge impact on their life and they have never ever admitted this okay they have never made this obvious they have been hiding it for a long time or for you know a couple of months or days or whatever like weeks if you guys just met this person but definitely, like, this person um, is dedicated, okay? And they believe in this connection. And they're not open about this yet. They intend to tell you. They intend to move towards you. Move towards, you know, this move ahead in this journey. They don't want to stick in this, you know, point. Like, they don't want to stay on this point. They want to move forward, all right? With the Nine of Pentacles, this person... might you know seem like they're really independent they're bold and yeah they are bold they are independent they don't need anyone but since you came along they have been feeling this emptiness okay and they don't like tell anything about this to anyone okay and they might have you know some they might have had some you know illusions about you like they get illusions about you all right they keep daydreaming about it. They keep zoning out again and again, okay? And they're just too fed up, okay? Like, they're like, I, I, I can't keep this, okay? I can't, you know, just not do anything about this. That's their attitude right now. And they're hiding this attitude, okay? That's a secret that your person is hiding. And they just, they they know that this is the truth like maybe they were in, in denial about this connection maybe they were you know considering other options you know in the past they were not that focused on this connection but when they you know when they associate with you when they just found out more about you or you know just when they saw you and you know at a point they were just like wow this is the person I should be with. That was their attitude, okay? So now you have persuaded them to, like, invest in this connection even more, okay? To, you know, work hard in this connection to, eat, like, to stabilize the contribution that you guys have, um, that you guys, that you guys have, like you know just a second like they want to like have an equal give and take in this connection okay is what i'm seeing now maybe you guys did a lot for your person and they just 
they were just boasting about it. they were taking it for granted and now they're you know realizing what a fool they were and all of that okay and they really want to apologize but um they will okay there is a chance that they will apologize there's a huge chance of that but definitely you are important for a person sorry about that you are important for a person it's like this person has some you know insecurities of rejection okay maybe you, they might be rejected by you so they are a little like scared about it which is why they're not you know disclosing any of their you know intentions so with the six of swords what i'm also getting is that this might be a long distance connection for some of you guys and this person might be visiting you soon or they might be visiting where you're you know staying at where you're you know they might just all of a sudden pop up okay where you live because that's their intention they want to meet up with you okay that's what i'm getting and if this is not a long distance connection definitely this person fantasizes about traveling with you. this person has many fantasies about you like they have thought about everything okay and anything that is possible that could happen okay they, they don't they want they, they are perfection per, sorry perfectionist your person is a perfectionist and they like to be prepared about everything in advance okay so definitely like they are you know thinking about the different possibilities that could end up when you're with them okay and they're you know just keeping all of this a secret okay they haven't told anyone about this connection they're you know individually handling all of their um enthusiasm towards this connection that's beautiful like that's so <laughs> oh my god how dedicated this person is so basically with the queen of wands yeah i mean this person is really attracted to you not like seriously i was just mentioning that this person is really passionate towards you they hide all of their passion whenever they see you whenever they see a picture they can't handle themselves they just they just want you to be beside them, okay? They want you all to themselves and they're literally hiding that fact, okay? Lol, this is so funny. Oh my god, this reading is like one of a kind right there. And this person is also hiding like a surprise, maybe a surprise, maybe a gift, maybe a ring, okay? For some of you guys, definitely it's a ring, okay? But definitely they want to give you something. They want to give you some fine jewelry or something, okay? Like they want to you know see that smile on your face they want to like um dress you up or something they do have fantasies about that so you know they really hide their fantasies i mean who doesn't okay but definitely they are not giving any signs as well that they're interested in you maybe they might have but they are not like disclosing it properly so definitely they intend to do that soon because they know that anyone can have you and they're afraid of losing you they're afraid of losing you and they're also hiding something about their financial, like, you know, situation. Maybe they have to work, you know, double shift them, shift, sorry. They are not in that position like they were. Like, they might look like, you know, everything is fine in their life. But to be honest, it's not. They're, you know, they're really zoned out. They're lost, okay? And they need some guidance is what I'm getting. And they might be getting some guidance by their friends or family members. So... And they're actually really, you know, actually like, you know, business minded. Your person is really business minded, but also I'm getting this down to earth energy. Definitely they want to put in the hard work to towards this connection is what I'm seeing. They might there might be some travel issues, okay, involved, which is why a person is unable to see you right now. For some of you guys, just take over resonates. And yeah. They can't wait to meet you in person again. Where they met them, whether you met them today itself or yesterday or, you know, whenever you met them, they don't care. They want to see your face. Okay. They want you to stay beside them and they're hiding that fact. Okay. Because they're scared of being rejected or, you know, some ego issues. I don't see ego issues that, you know, like in a huge way over here, it's not that dominant. I mean, some other energies like, you know, insecurities and fear of rejection is involved. So yeah take it how it goes and i guess this is all i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate feel free to check out the files in this reading and check out more videos on my channel so love you guys i'll see you guys soon like share and subscribe for more videos bye